guys, it's Kayla, and today we are going to be talking about why I hated high school. So, um, my neurotic symptoms began really early in life. I think the first time I actually experienced a symptom and realized something was wrong was in grade three. But, um, it wasn't so bad looking back now. It was a lot worse when I got to high school. Now, the first two years of high school wasn't so bad because um, I had a friend and I started listening to alternative music, so I kind of didn't get, like, I had this all I don't give a shit attitude, right? And um, it got bad when my friend moved away and left me to kind of, like, fend for myself. So people, like... People didn't like us, me and my friend, because um, we were different. People used to think we were satanic. I remember that episode. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. <laughs> um, so they didn't really like us. And, this, and the second she left, um, people started to kind of like zero in on me. Because she was the big mouthed one, you know, that said, screw you if somebody says something. But I could never do that. So it systematically got worse. And by grade 11, I kind of really wanted to die. Now, <clears throat> I really started feeling depressed a lot. Especially, like I said in my previous video, after school. Because the whole day I'd be so anxious and I'd be petrified that somebody actually approaches me and talks to me because I don't know how to react to that. I literally have a panic don't do that. I'd literally have a panic attack if somebody tries to talk to me. And you know the physical symptoms, you get like super flustered and your face goes bright red and you get all sweaty and you hyperventilate and stuff. And that's really terrible and was embarrassing actually. Like this one time, this dude actually thought that I had romantic feelings for him because I used to get a panic attack every time he spoke to me. But I didn't. I did not have feelings for him. I just was... had screwed my head, you know? Um, and it started becoming... I, I think it started becoming a thing in that people would talk to me to kind of get that reaction out of me. I think it was entertaining for them. I don't know. But um, it really sucked. And I was shy a lot um, when it came to, you know, speaking up, doing public speaking in class. So I'd always, like, try and make, like, a little plan with the teachers to not have to speak in front of the whole class, just to, um, like, meet them in private. And that worked for a small period of time until they started, like, seeing through it. And they just thought I was being... <clears throat> they probably just didn't understand um, what it was all about. So I can't really blame them. But it still really sucked. And um, I couldn't... I couldn't be myself because I felt that myself is not something that would be accepted in that school especially it's very conservative very christian i mean the school itself was okay i guess but the experience i went with it sucked and um i used to smoke at school right so we would have this place where we would where we'd all gather to smoke cigarettes and those people are so chatty they just want to talk to you that talent is in my eye um so they always want to talk to you and I'm like, oh, okay, I need to finish the cigarette really quickly so that I can get the hell out of here and go to my friends on the other side that are part of the smart kids so that they, they kind of didn't really like talking to me so much because I was the dumbest one, I feel, in the smart kids group. So I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't fit in anyway. <laughs> I wasn't sporty, I wasn't chatty enough to be with the smokers, and I wasn't smart enough to be with the smart people, so, shit, it really sucked, looking, thinking like now, wow, but, um, yeah, so all that would just manifest as depressive symptoms when I get home, because I want to be like, oh my god, I don't want to go to school, but I have to, like, I, occasionally, I did this thing where, 
I think every I think everybody does it where you pretend not to feel good so you don't have to go to school that did not work every time I actually I need to start I had to <laughs> start working on it from the previous night but yeah it wasn't that it wasn't that convincing but I think my matric year was like the year that I was most absent because it was just too overwhelming at that point and to be honest I didn't care to get out of school well which is ironic because I wanted nothing more than to get out of school but to put in the work to pass the exams to do so was not a priority for me because I'd rather just lay in my bed with a like covers all over me and like feel sorry for myself <laughs> that's like how my afternoons went and I watched Spongebob Squarepants like every day when I got home from school. They had two episodes of Spongebob and I used to watch that shit and then after that just be the first. And then the cycle, yeah, so it's, um, it wasn't pleasant. I wouldn't say that I've had the worst high school experience ever. Um, it's just, I, I think I made it bad for myself because of my anxiety and... It hasn't completely gone away, like even till today, sometimes I'd have a panic attack when people talk to me, certain people, like people I just meet, you know. So it's not so fun to have this at all. <laughs> not that it's fun for anyone, but you know. So yeah, I, this video was very all over the place. I'm so sorry. It made sense in my head. Yeah, I love you. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Oh my god. Okay. See, he's getting pissed off now. Anyway, so that is my why I hated high school story. Tell me why you hated high school. I'm so sorry, guys. I banged the cage and then got a fright. Um, because if you are anything like me, high school sucked. So, yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for surviving to the end of this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.